Well, we're wrapping up our youth hunt with Landon and Steve Nessel. This is Landon's first ever hunting trip. You know, Landon and Steve Nessel, what a, what a great age to take a kid hunting. You know, we've, we've done this many, many times. And our rule is at that age when they come out, you start them with a doe. That's the first thing they, they come out. And not all of them go away on their first trip to our property with them. You'll see some kids come out that they're just not ready. They want to play and they want to experience it, but they're not ready for the harvest. And you're going to see other kids grasp it and go into it right away. Landon was one of those kids, picked up the, uh, you know, learning to shoot that 308 TC youth model right away. His dad was excited and their hunt as you watch it unfold is one that's really pretty special. All right, we're in the uh, first day, first afternoon hunt for Landon in Texas and uh, we had a good morning, saw a bunch of deer. We are going to a similar setup as far as a blind's concerned, but uh, a different look, different part of the ranch in the hopes that we can actually get a doe to hang out for a little while today, right? Yeah. <laughs> you, uh, you excited about the afternoon? Yep. We got some snacks, help pass the time. We're getting in a little early, not too early. Uh, just know he's gonna get restless. Heck, I get restless. I don't like to sit too long either, so. We're gonna go get set up and uh, find out where our shooting lanes might be and get him comfortable and, and fingers crossed to see what the afternoon and, and hopefully the evening brings. So we're thinking your primary shot's out this way. Okay. See if the gun's stable. Get over there. Grab it like you're doing at the range, right? Get up against your shoulder. Put your head down against the stock and look and see if you can see through the scope. I can. You good? I mean, yeah, there's cactuses like over there. Where? Right there. Behind the tree. Okay. Those dogs are making their way up around. Yeah, they right there. Here we go. The one looking to the left, you see her head down. Get your behind her, wait till the deer clears. Get her in the scope. Get her in the scope. How do you feel? Oh, 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 sorry about that. Get your thumb out of there. On safety. Buddy, how was the shot? Good. Was it good? <laughs> was it good? I think it was good. Did you see it? Where it was. Yeah, did you see it? Where'd you put the, where'd you put the crosshairs? Um, when I put it right above her shoulder. And when I shot, um, when I looked back in, it was still above her shoulder. So. Did you see her kind of... Her shoulder kind of, I saw her shoulder jump. I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but we just played it back, and uh, it appears, it's still not 100% confirmed, but it appears this guy put all his practice at the range to work and, and put it right at or behind, slightly above and behind the shoulder for this, and just, just smoked this, as Mr. Way would say, smoked him or smoked her. So your legs are bouncing a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. I like that. So we're gonna, um, we're still gonna take our time. We're not, not too much time though. <laughs> I wanna get down there with you. And uh, we're gonna go see, we'll go to the point where she got hit and we'll assess from there and then we'll uh, hopefully track her in a little bit, see some sign and, uh, and walk up to your first deer. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. <sighs> oh yeah, buddy. What? We've got sign. So this is about where she was. And you see that blood? Yeah. It leads down there. It leads down here. So let's follow it a little bit, okay? No. Walk through there a little bit. Okay. Look down, see that red spot down in front of you? No, I do not. Down, down right in front of you, right in front. Look down, look down. In front? Yeah. Keep following that. Okay. Hmm. It's right here. Oop. Oh my. <laughs> you lost your hat. I'll get it for you. Where did they go? Where did the red spots go? Stop. 
Oh, that's right there. You see any more red spots? Right there. What else do you see? A deer. You see a deer? Yep. Where do you see the deer? Right there. <laughs> hey, hey. Nicely done, buddy. Nicely done. It's right there. Right here. Come here, take a look at her. Nice little doe, bud. Your first deer. There's, yeah. I mean, you put it right there on the shoulder. Maybe just a tiny bit low. That's how she's standing, but I'll tell you what, she didn't go very far, did she? Well, we walked maybe 35, 40 yards from where you hit her? Yep. Mm, nice and smooth. <laughs> Nice and smooth. We'll put a tag on her, we'll take her back, and we'll gut her. Because you know what we're gonna do with her? What? We're gonna take some of her back home, and we're gonna eat her for the holidays. What do you think of that? Sounds kind of weird? Uh, yeah. That's okay, buddy. That's why we do what we do. We come out time, spend time outdoors, spend time with each other, to admire nature, and then to appreciate nature. Because I don't know if you realize it, but for the last seven years, you've been eating these guys pretty much every meal at home. <laughs> and now, you've helped to supply that. So when your brother says how good the dinner was, you can say you're welcome. <laughs> Give me a hug, dude. Good job. Proud of you. Very, very, very proud of you.